Hi. <laughs> hey, YouTube, what's up? It's Joe D. Uh, got another fine beer from Deschutes Brewery. Uh, this one's a very, very limited quantity. I just got it uh, a few days ago, so I uh, wanted to get this one out there right away. It's a Belgium-style quad called the Stoic. And it's their first release of this, and it's very, very limited. So if it's in your area, pick it up, because uh, we just don't know how long it'll last. Um, if you like Belgium-style beers, uh, this one might be the one for you. You're going to have to like a bold beer, because just like when you get uh, anything that's a, a, a double or uh, uh, anything of that sort, you know how it's like usually double the intensity, the boldness, the flavor, and everything. Uh, the, the usually the alcohol as well. And sometimes the bitterness, uh, and it, depending on the style of beer. Well, this is a quad, so a quad is, you know, better than. Well, I wouldn't say, for lack of the word, right? Better meaning like it's just like a step up above a triple, and then a triple's a step up above a. A, a, a double, right? Uh, meaning the D U B E L, right? Is that how you spell those doubles? Uh, and then you have the single uh, Belgian ales. But um, this this is you know a quad, so quadruple is short. That's what it's short for. Um, let me read you real quick what they have here on on their website. Uh, is uh, let's see, it's 11. Point, it's 11 percent ABV and 20 IBUs. So I don't I don't know how they managed to do 20 IBUs. 21 IBUs is what what they gave me here on the paperwork. Um, let's see. It says a uh, four nuance fermentations aged uh, sequence uh, sequestered. In uh, select rye and uh, rye whiskey and wine casks, uh, ergo a, sto a stoically brewed quad uh, with spellbinding complexity of its medieval ancestors. And then they go through a few pairings, um, but from what they have here on uh, Beer Advocate, there's only 19 reviews, and so far it has a solid B. Um, and then also they have a little bit that's written on actually down here on the bottle too. Uh, it makes it easier to read here though. Uh, brewed with pomegranate, uh, with 16.5% being aged in oak wine barrels and 16.5% being aged in oak rye whiskey barrels. So, uh, and it's released uh, August of 2011, only in these big um, uh, 22 ounce bombers. So, this is the only way you can get it. It's wax dipped, so I, I pre cut the wax off of here to make it easier for the review. But I love the labeling. The labeling's like this oldish looking, you know, they, they, they put this oldish looking tint you know to it uh nice font i love the font and everything on there it's just a cool label uh and this bottle can be aged this one actually says best by 8 uh 0804 uh 2012 so that'd be uh august uh the 4th 2012 so this is a, a very young beer would you say a very fresh beer so it's not aged all right so i just want to that's another thing that we have to factor into this review okay so let's dig in enough talking let's dig in i'm long-winded with this bad boy okay i do have my very dirty <laughs> uh towel here so in a, in a kind of spotty glass oh, i'm even really, really ashamed to show it to you so let's see. Let's see if we get some good smoke out of here. Oh, by the way, let's see. Let's cover the temperature. Serving temperature, pa, 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 50 to 55 degrees. And I wanted to, I wanted to get that to you because this beer is is right at temperature. So here we go. Let's see if I took enough wax off. Oh, nice smoke. You see that? Yeah. I'm a little concerned about the rest of this wax. 
Look at that wax that we got there. So let me take that off. I'm a little concerned about that. We don't want nothing ruining this. Uh, there. Okay. So we'll give her a nice generous pour about halfway into this glass. This is kind of a big one. Nice head going on there. Oh, look at that beautiful color. Wow. Look at that. Look at all, those, all that carbonation in there. A nice, real thin head. Uh, don't expect too much of a head with a, a, a beer that's this high in, in alcohol, 11%. <sighs> the nose is very... You do get some of that fruitiness from the pomegranate. I, if I didn't know it was pomegranate ahead of time, probably wouldn't be able to pick that out. You know, I, I, I couldn't tell you the last time I smelled the pomegranate. <laughs> ah, pomegranate, that's right. <laughs> I mean, you know, but you do smell a, a, a nice sweet fruitiness in there, and it's followed really quickly by a boldness of uh, possibly alcohol, could be some of that uh, alcohol mixed with the uh, uh, whiskey, uh, some of that fermenting in the whiskey barrels and the, in the wine barrels. Possibly getting some of that as well. Ah, wow. You know, it's simple. Uh, as far as the recipe goes, that's what they were saying in the in the paperwork. But it took them five years to get this beer right, and this is their first release of it. So, I feel kind of special drinking their first release of this beer. I have no godly idea what it costs, but it's very delicious. Um, the alcohol, for one, is well well hidden. It's I'm not getting any of that. It leaves just the slightest little film in your mouth from the top of your roof of your mouth there. Slightest little, <coughs> no charge, slightest little film in there. It's going to be a long review, so forget it. Uh, you, you can taste that fruitiness. Mm, it, it's very good. I mean, this is this is a two-thumb-up beer, man. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> This is definitely a two thumb beer, bro. It's definitely not. Um, you're you're not gonna have more than two of these with a buddy. Let me tell you, you have. If I get to the bottom of this one by myself, I'm gonna be silly. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely a big, big beer. Uh, not for everybody. Uh, I actually like it. It's pretty darn good, and I'm not real big on Belgian beers or Belgian styled beers, but this one's really good. Very well done. Like I say, two thumb up beer, man. You get it. I'm not just being a Deschutes fanboy, even though I do love most of their stuff. Uh, I have not liked a f one of their beers, at least, and I can't remember which one it was, but I have not liked one before. Uh... It, it just so happens that they're they're one of the best. What can I say, man? If you're fortunate enough to be in one of the states where they where they sell beer, um, if you go to their website, uh, they do have like a little map of the states where they are available, including the one province in uh, Canada. So uh, go to their website, theshootsbrewery.com. Check them out. Hope you can get the beer, man. Excellent, excellent beer. Let's go out by uh, pouring some more, man. And uh, just gonna pour a little bit this time. Uh, just look at that. Look at that color, man. That is beautiful, man. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, man. Enjoy your beers. Cheers.